Hey everyone, welcome back to the Adults Play Vanilla server. It is episode 14, and the last episode we got some more work done on this town. We got our stables up, we got some farms up. It's really coming along, and we're going to do some more work on this today. But firstly, I just want to show you what I've been working on between episodes. And as you can see, the ravine here is now done. Well, pretty much, ignore that bit. <laughs> But yeah, we've got the river finally flowing down into the ravine and I'm going to have it go into a little cave system just over there. That bit is not quite finished yet. But some other things have been happening because you may remember we set up the armor stand competition and we've now got Vegas Vic feeding the horse. And we've also got this one by Strong Zebra, which is Rev taking honey and apparently paying the price because He's currently being chased by an angry swarm of bees. That is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, the chickens are enjoying themselves. And I also set up a cow and sheep pen. I think I talked about that in the last episode. But yep, the sheep and the cows are in. We've even got a couple of mushrooms from Chop Chop. But yeah, that means this area up top is now all done. I'm putting a couple of extra bushes here and there just to fill out the area. And apparently... Well, the chickens is over here as well. Nice. Oh, while we're over here, I believe Frolash has been busy again, because as well as getting the start of the next house done, it looks like we now have an interior for one of them as well. A little dining table, kitchen with fireplace. That's just a back door, that's fine. <laughs> and upstairs we should have a couple of bedrooms. I'm not sure keeping a wandering trader head next to your bed is the wisest idea. I'd be worried that it's going to come alive and eat me or something. Another little bedroom here. Again, good walls in the roof. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of very medieval dark here. Just a little bit of a pantry here, storing some food. I can't imagine the roofs in those times were perfect, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it is looking great. And that, of course, means that people can come over here and start putting some armor stands down in there. Oh, and I uh, just want to mention Frolash's best friend. Remember the chicken that we named and tied up to the fence outside? Well, Frolash came on stream, saw a chicken, instantly killed it without even checking its name. So, yeah, um, apparently the chickens have come out in force to protest against this senseless violence. And yeah, they really are multiplying. <laughs> wonder how that happened. Oh well. <laughs> it's Rolash's fault. Blame Rolash. So I'm just over at the shopping district at the moment because there's been a lot of change here and I haven't been here in quite a while actually. But um, yeah, apparently most of the mycelium's gone. We've got some lovely little trees popping up. I don't know who's done this, but it does look really good. And you know what? I haven't been checking my shop in a while. I remember before the Christmas holidays, I came in here and I stocked everything up. Let's just get our armor back on, clear a bit of inventory space. But yeah, I don't know if we'll have sold out at all. Ooh, we made another axe sale. One more shovel sold and that's right, axe and pickaxe still haven't sold. Oh, looks like I made a few more sales from the bargain bin. I do have a few more books to bring over for those. Wow. Unbreaking, always a popular book. Not too bad on mending either. A couple of fortune sales. Oh, some of us smite. Wasn't expecting that. No, we're not doing too badly. And the best part is, we don't have to worry about restocking the place. <laughs> Looks like we've got plenty of stock that's probably going to last us for the rest of the season now, to be honest. But hey, almost two stacks of diamonds. I am very happy with that. But yeah, this place is looking really good. It's come on a long way 
since the start of the server when we had our little shack before we upgraded to the forge. Um, do I need some logs while I'm here? I mean, it's kind of spruce that I wanted, and apparently they're sold out. Oh well. Uh, what we can do is go and check out Kyrie's shop, which is not this one. It's that one. This is the one that sells mushroom stems. And they're all sold out. Of course they are. <laughs> mushroom stems are a pain to farm. Absolutely terrible. But uh, myself and Frolash need a lot of them for the town of Froberg. So looks like we're going to have to farm some more of those manually. So now that we've caught up on the update since last episode, what's the plans for today? Well, we're going to fill in a bit more of the town. We have a storage house or a warehouse to build. You know, somewhere we can store all of the resources this town's going to need, all of the wood, um, a lot of the food. It's going to be awesome. And we also need a way of processing all of the wheat from the fields up above. And I'm thinking a windmill will do that. Yeah, so have a nice little windmill slash granary. So I've been busy collecting resources and I think it's time we've got building. Alright, we interrupt this time lapse just to bring you a quick update. So I've actually done all of the kind of interior and the decorating off camera, but this is our storage house. Got some lovely flower beds up there outside the windows because they were looking a bit bland, a bit um, plain. And if we swoop down inside, you can see we've got all our logs, melons, pumpkins, almost said pelons, I'm not sure what pelons are. Pelons and pumpkins, yeah, that's what they're called now. Hay bales, got some barrels for just kind of generic storage, and I absolutely love it. But we've still got a windmill to build, so let's crack on with it. Well, there we have it. The windmill is, well, it's built. <laughs> I was going to say it's done. It's not. It is far from done. We still need to get a bridge over here. We need to do a bit of terraforming around the outside. Inside, I've done a little bit of work. So you can see this is going to be the grindstone. We've got the spindle going up there, or the axle. I'm not sure what you call it. I do need to connect it up to the windmill itself. So we're going to make it look like it's functional, even though it's going to do absolutely nothing. Um, there's a need for decorations and extra floors inside. And we need to deal with this flat edge as well. <laughs> this all needs doing before we can call this done. But I like it. Uh, this is actually designed by Avamance that I have taken and tweaked a little bit. Uh, I've actually amended the size of it so it fits in. It was actually a very tight fit. 
as you can probably see if I go down here. You can see it's only just fit in there. But you know what? It's in and I love it. So I literally just went to start recording and jumped off the mountain and yeah, this happened. <laughs> I need to keep a better eye on my electric durability. But we're going to play a little game now called Spot the Difference. And maybe I've noticed from the last clip, I've actually changed up the block pattern very slightly. We had spruce planks up here, then our dark oak planks with a bit of spruce wood for detailing. All of the dark oak stairs and slabs have now been changed to spruce stairs and slabs. And that's just to help it fit in with this town a bit better, because we're using a lot of spruce wood, not a lot of dark oak. So the dark oak is just a nice little accent now. And I've actually finished detailing around the outside, a bit of grass, a few bushes. You can see this hard line here has now gone. So I've fixed up that, got it nicely terraformed. And I've also done a little bit of work on the inside as well, because we have the grindstone here below it. And you can see up there we've got a bit of a very janky cog. It's very difficult to do a horizontal cog. But that does actually connect to another one there. So, you know, it kind of looks functional. It looks like it actually does something, which is exactly what we were aiming for. But yeah, windmill done, storage house done, got a little bridge just going over the river here. Nothing fancy, just wanted something functional. And it accomplishes that. But anyway, I'm going to have to head off to the furnace and repair my elytra because I cannot do without flying and I only have a single pair. I have been using this place like crazy and I know a couple of other people use it as well and you know I love it so much just instant repairs just like that instant levels for enchanting or renaming stuff I think I'm definitely gonna have to have one of these early on in the next season which is currently slated to start around August September it's all dependent on the timing of the next Minecraft update and making sure everything's stable and so on. So we've got plenty of time left on this world, which is great because we've still got a lot of work to do. So with my Elytra repaired, I can now do a quick flyby view of the town and it is looking absolutely fantastic. Everything is coming together. We've not really got a lot of places to actually fill in now. So we've got this uh, section just over here next to the blacksmith. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do there. I might do maybe like a bakery because we've got the wheat fields. We've got the windmill to grind stuff down into flour. So yeah, I think maybe a bakery and oh, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted like an apothecary or I think like a herbalist or something. I wonder if we can maybe add it just over there in front of the windmill, but behind the bakery and have like a little dark passage just going off down there. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, we do need to get the wall in as well. So we're not just going to have an open cliff face. <laughs> that could be a bit dangerous. I know Frolash is going to work on the barracks. He's still designing that in creative at the moment. Uh, we do need to get the lake in here. That needs doing. And then I think we're about ready, other than like some of the small decorating, like we have a few trees pop up here and there. I think we'll be ready to get the work done over here because uh, this is going to be in a completely different style. Um, I've still got to drain that out as well. <laughs> I am not looking forward to that. I hate draining oceans. But yeah, this is going to be kind of the source of the evil on the island, if you will. Uh, we're going to have some kind of old god worshippers coming in here trying to corrupt the island and to defend themselves we're going to have a very large gate over here to protect the town and by large i mean it's going to be like it's going to be like up here <laughs> it's going to be very large so uh, i'm not looking forward to that it's going to be a lot of resources and random block missing of course i keep finding those all over the place just random blocks missing in the mountains but you know, <laughs> given how many blocks we've placed, I think it's inevitable to, you know, there might be a couple of mistakes. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. If you have, smack the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch out more of the content and how this place develops. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.